Hello everyone, Tiara here with Gypsy Fay Creations, social distancing and, and stuck in quarantine just like everyone else. Thanks so much for tuning in. Trying to find a positive in this situation. As a soap maker, I have all the time on my hands to be creative and make soap. So that is what I'm doing in these times. I decided for this one I would pull out the soap dough and create some fancy invents inspired by robins. Whenever I think of a robin, I think of spring. And it was probably in February, I was looking outside my window and there was like plenty of them in the backyard. Spring is right around the corner, I thought. I need to make a soap inspired by those pretty blue shells on the eggs that they lay. So we're going to be doing a Robin's Egg Blue Soap today. It is available in the Etsy shop because today is a shop update day. You will also find other soaps like the Cactus Cupcakes, the Succulent Soap, there's a few other cupcake soaps in there, the Orange Commander. And again, being in quarantine, I have no excuse not to do some restocks. So you will find the boy who lived in there, hazelnut cappuccino soap, and if you weren't lucky enough in January to get the golden snitch soap, here is your chance. It is a very labor intensive soap, even when it comes to the packaging. I hate packaging this soap, I'm always afraid something's gonna break. It is very difficult. So with that said, this will probably be the last time, if not for a very long time, that you will ever see this in my shop. So if you need to go snatch yourself one, you better go catch it because, again, I don't know when I will be redoing them unless there's some other quarantine that I'm not wishing for. <laughs> so again, shop update. Go look and see if there's anything that you fancy. If not, you won't hurt my feelings. But let's get started and let's make a Robin's Egg Blue Soap today. with this soap, I am going to add a little bit of water dispersible titanium dioxide into my oils because I want to tone down the colors a little bit, get a little bit of a pastel in there and I want them too solid. And then, oh, nope, not even going to use that. You guys will find out later, I'm sure. The fragrance I picked is probably going to make me regret my decision. So I'm going to start by whisking. I'm going to pour in my lye solution, which is sodium lactate and tussa silk, and then there's coconut milk and kaolin clay in my oils here. We're just going to whisk that together because I'm working at room temperature as always, and the fragrance I picked out is probably going to cause problems. So we're keeping this at a very light trace and crossing our fingers. Alright, so I'll keep mixing this until everything looks like it is incorporated. And then we'll split this off to a couple different colors. Gosh, this, this kind of hurts my arm. Like, if you do this enough, it's the workout. I wonder what people in the old days when they made soap, what they did. Take forever. Have some soapy arm muscles. <laughs> I'm going to start by splitting off some of this batter into these two cups and then setting them aside. We'll do about an even amount of each in there. And then into the big bucket, I'm going to add some magic mushroom mica that is from Nurture Soaps. I love this brown. Out of all their browns, this one is my favorite. I'm not going to add too much of that and I'm going to Give that a little blend here and see what we got. A very, very light trace. If I pick up my spatula, you can see that it does make a little bit of a mark on the top, like it lays on top and makes little lines where it lands. So it's at a light trace. All right, you guys. <laughs> I'm just asking for punishment on this. I have been holding on to this fragrance called Flower Cart for a very long time. It is um, Crafter's Choice, bought from Wholesale Supplies Plus. No Vaseline, no discoloration, but 
it does accelerate. It is a floral and so that is what I'm afraid that as soon as I pour this in there it's going to seize up on me and this whole entire soap is going to be a disaster. But for your entertainment, let's pour that in and I'll tell you the notes that are in it. It smells really good. Like out of all the florals I've smelled, this one smells very realistic, like a fresh cut bouquet of flowers, and I love it. So blooming tulips, English tea roses, purple hyacinth, exotic orchid, sweet lily of the valley are the notes in this, and it smells like spring. And I love it. I just love it so much, but I don't want it to misbehave on me. So gonna mix that in by hand and I'll get my mold over here we'll pour it in and then I have a cake comb to do a little sculpting with so let's get the mold over here so far it's not unbearable don't want to take my eyes off of it though <laughs> If I can get this cake comb through it, I'm going to use this end. I've used this one before, but not that one. And obviously I've got the wrong one. Try that again. <laughs> I know I can play around with the design a little bit. I am very relieved. So into the two cups I'm going to put in some baby blue and some proud peacock into this one and I want this to re represent like the egg and the brown to represent like the nest. So that is where I'm going with this. Let's get them to a light trace as well. colors. So I'm going to mix in the fragrance again by hand. I'll do a little in the pot swirl and then I will layer it over top of my sculpted layer in my mold there. How is everyone doing today? I hope that by the time this video comes out, the virus pandemic that is currently going on right now has come and gone and in the past and we can all kind of laugh about it and say we survived. That would be nice and think that it was very well handled but for now I am stuck in the mists of it it is a very real thing right now I thought I was going to get on here and tell everyone how much um, fun Bradley and I had over a weekend trip we had bought tickets six months in advance to go see an Irish band called the High Kings and do a little day trip in Annapolis and it was all cancelled. Everything has been cancelled. Like my sister's bridal shower was cancelled. <laughs> I thought March was going to be the busiest month ever for me and it seems I spoke too soon. It's going to be the laziest, saddest, most depressing month ever. But we will survive. So Brad, Brad at least gets to work from home. I have been laid off. <laughs> and it's not funny. <laughs> Until April 6th, if not longer. So... Hopefully, I can just keep soaping, if I can find the distilled water that I need. That is the worry right now. Distilled water is just flying off the shelf. So yeah, got laid off. Um, my plans got canceled. These, these things, you know, it is, it is what it is. Um, I do have some sad news, though. And if you guys have been around, you know that... Bradley and I have a rat terrier whose name is Luke, and I made one of the hardest de decisions of my whole entire life, and he is no longer with us anymore. To be 15 years, he was blind, he was deaf, he wore diapers all the time, he cried when we weren't home, like constantly howling every second that we were away. He didn't have any teeth and he just wasn't the same dog that I remember. He wasn't much for affection 
he wasn't, you know, a people person anymore. He just didn't seem very happy. And so we had to say goodbye to him. And I'm really, really sad because I don't have a dog now. And it's so weird not having a dog that's been in your life for almost half of it. I got him when I was 18. And so it's a big thing. And then being stuck in the house with this whole virus thing doesn't make it any better. But I don't want to make this sad. I am going to leave a little slideshow at the end of this just to show off my pup. And remember him. He was a good boy. <laughs> he was a good boy. And I miss him dearly. Alright, let's see if I can get the rest of this color in here so that I can swirl it around with a chopstick. We got Luke March of 2005. Bradley and I had probably only been dating maybe a month. And I used to work at the cosmetic counter of Walgreens. And this lady used to come in with her dog who was a Chihuahua named Chi Chi. And I was like, I want a dog. I'm 18. I'm going to go out and get a dog. I don't care what my mom says. And she's like, oh, this one couple I know, they live in an apartment and their dog just had a litter of puppies and they can't keep them because they're going to be evicted from this apartment. And I was like, oh, I'll be right over there after work. So Bradley and I, we did. We went and picked out Luke from this litter. It was all boys. Not that I cared. There was one girl and she was spoken for. But all the puppies came rushing up to the front, except for one. And that was Luke. He was the one in the back. All the other dogs were coming towards the front and they were like licking and jumping and wagging their tail. And I need to go give this a nice little smack down. <laughs> See if I can even some of this out and make a pretty little design on top. That won't necessarily be covered up, but I would like this to not be so lumpy. But it is accelerating on me, and so I don't have too much time to work. So let's play in this a little bit. Go give it another little smack down, and then I will show you what I'm putting on top. On top of this soap, I have these little feathers that are supposed to represent the red breast feathers of the robin. I'll leave the link to that mold down below. And I'm sorry I did not make a little tutorial of how I made these little bird nests. They are made out of soap dough and I did use this tool. This is a clay extruder with that um, adapter piece on it and came up with these little bird nests. And then I rolled the eggs in some mica and they remind me of the little like foil colored milk chocolate Easter eggs. So I will leave links to the extruder down below as well. Not as flat as I would like, but I'll take it. It could be worse. So Luke had the fuzziest face out of all the puppies, and I was like, I'll take that one in the back who has no idea what's going on. <laughs> and for some reason, I always wanted to have a dog and name it Dallas. And I brought him home, and Mom's like, don't name him that. Why don't you name him Luke or Yoda? And he did have pointy ears and a wrinkly forehead, but I was like, hmm, Luke, I think I will name him Luke. So he is named after Luke Skywalker because that was what I was into. These are going to be fun to cut. I think I made them a little too big. Boo. Let's see if I can squeeze one more on here. These will be special edition bars because these were not fun to make. Well, they were fun. They were just time consuming. And I don't think I'm going to get another one on there. I'm so mad. All right, spread it back out. Won't get as many bars on there. Look, I had four left over. I definitely made them too big. Darn. All right. Also adding the feathers on here. This barely even pushes into the soap. It's so hard. Whatever. Let's see if I can get these pushed on. So Luke was a good boy. And that is all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> he was a pretty easy dog. No complaints until the end. And I am happy that I got to keep him for 15 years. I am still amazed that I was able to keep him alive. I kept something alive for 15 years. Nuts. All right, so 
That is the end of the soap. I was thinking about putting some sugar pearls on here, but the way that this is acting, I don't think that's going to happen. So how about we'll just put some glitter on here. We'll spray it with the rubbing alcohol, and then we'll call it a day. I'll bring you guys back in 24 hours to cut it. Let's see if I got the design that I wanted. I'm gonna cut off a little end piece here. See what we got. I love those colors. I'm getting more like the sky and like a desert going on in there. But I am not done. I have one more thing to finish off this design, and I think that it will really pull it together. See if I can also get some pretty uniformed bars out of this. They're going to be quite large bars because I made those nests really big. And so I'm a little upset that I didn't get all 12 bars out of this. I'm a little upset that I didn't get the very smooth top on there. But considering the fact that I expected worse, I am not going to complain. So on the front, on the front of this, I'm going to put some robin's eggs that I made out of melt and pour. Um, kind of like floating on the top to make them look like they're sitting inside of a nest and that will be the end of that design The little extra bird nests that I have I'm thinking I'll create a couple little soaps maybe some pie shapes or some cupcake shapes and in order to use them up because I did put a lot of work into them and they are really cute so they will find their way on something and in the shop at some point which brings me to the fact that don't forget today is a shop update you can find this soap you can get the cactus soaps the succulent the honeysuckle a couple cupcake soaps those are all in the shop today so be sure to head over there thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed soap making in any of my videos that i do it's probably soap making so be sure to stay tuned for more any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment section down below and until next time I hope you have a very nice day, and I will smell you later. Also, don't forget, I am going to leave the attachment of the mountain pour eggs at the end of this and a slideshow slide of Luke. <laughs>